We're here with Megan Bozak, who's down in town to visit our youth women's hockey teams, our youth young girls. Megan, what do you think has been the biggest part of success for your career? Just developing the game. I, I grew up playing with the boys at a young age. I had two older brothers that played, but just seeing the growth in the numbers and the people that grow to love this sport because it's one of the best sports to play. What would be your biggest asset to give to young girls, the knowledge you have, that your career has gone so far, winning a silver medal at the Olympics for the U.S. Olympic team? Um, what would be your advice to a young lady who's getting involved in the sport on how to succeed in hockey? Always try your best, always do your best, and always have fun with it because that's what counts at the end of the day. And now playing in Toronto in the Women's Professional League, uh, five teams in that league right now looking to expand. We're always looking to expand the youth women's hockey here in North Carolina. We had a great group over the Carolina Lightning right now. Uh, you're going to be visiting them tonight on the ice, practicing. Uh, what are your lessons going to be going into tonight's practice? Just a few skills, seeing what we would do with the national team, uh, a few days of practice, but just making sure that they have fun, getting a few tips from me, and also I want to get a few tips from them to see what they do at the age of 10 or the age of 14 or 19. Now, obviously, everyone faces a lot of adversity in their careers. Um, I'm sure there's a lot to go on in the women's world and women's hockey that you face. Um, what are some of those things that you faced, and who was there to kind of help you get through those things? Well, being an American playing in Toronto definitely isn't the easiest. No, but uh, just growing up with boys, it was tough. I think uh, when you see someone that's out there that might be a little bit bigger than them at the age of 11 or 12, they, they'd like to go after me. But it's just motivation to, to become better, and you have to rely on your teammates because your teammates are, are going to be there for you at the end of the day. Who's been your biggest supporter, not only throughout your career, but your biggest help to get through some of those tough times? Definitely my family. My, my mom and my dad have traveled with me, almost everyone. My two older brothers are the ones that taught me to skate, so they were. I was fortunate enough to have them in Sochi, Russia with me in February. Tell us a little bit about Sochi, what your experience was like and what it was like to win that silver medal and obviously play in the gold medal game as well. Yeah, I, it wasn't the, the ending that we wanted, but to say that I represented the country the, the best that I could was, was amazing. Just to put on that USA jersey and at the end of the day say that I achieved one of my goals is great. Now, growing up just outside Chicago, going to the University of Minnesota, playing for the Golden Gophers, um, now professional hockey, you've had a lot of coaches along your way. Is there a specific one that maybe has been a huge part to your success? I've had a handful of coaches, but I had the same coach for five years, Tony Catchy in Chicago, that taught me, taught me a lot about myself as a person, myself as a player, and then Joel Johnson at the University of Minnesota taught me pretty much how to play my position with defense, so that, that helps that helps a lot for me. Well, Megan, we appreciate you coming down to North Carolina to talk to our youth and our young ladies about the sport of hockey. We hope you have a great time and a great stay here in North Carolina, and we hopefully can get you back sometime soon. Thank you very much.